what do you notice now that we've switched them? So now we we flip flop them. What's happened to the one that was originally dim in, in the cold water? It's getting brighter. It's getting brighter. Notice the one that was in the hot water. It's getting colder. It's still pretty bright. Turns out again that's because the cold water here is not very cold. And so it takes longer to cool down than it did to warm up. And so this eventually though we would expect if we leave it in the cool water will dim eventually. So, why do you think the hot ones glow brighter? Don't be afraid heat to shout out the answer. Okay, heat makes the energy and you're waving your hands around and it makes yeah. them move faster. Yeah. And that's actually a lot of it. The atoms move around faster and there's more collisions between the chemicals that are reacting together and as they collide they react and part of the reaction in this case is Light. Giving off light. I mean, part, we know that a chemical reaction is going here on here because we can see the light. And so that's a lot of what's going on here is that as they move faster, they're colliding more often. When they collide more often, they react. Whereas in the cold beaker, what's going on? They slow down. The cold slows them down. They collide less frequently. They give off less light. Very good. Now we can see the one that was in the hot originally has cooled down quite a bit now and is fairly dim. I'd say it's dim or at least as dim as the room temperature water. So you can see that what has an effect on how fast a chemical reaction takes place? Heat, Heat energy or the temperature of the surroundings.